Howdy, my peoples. Guess what? I'm back. Frugal Fred is back. This is going to be a culinary classic. A way to save money. Learn. Take notes. Ready? Here we go. I, uh, I went up to Wally World today. That's Walmart, in case you're not familiar with the acronym. Wally World. And it looked like Joe Biden was handing out free $5,000 credit cards at the border. It was so damn crowded up in there, but I did fight through it because that's what I do. And uh, I came upon a display there at Wally World. And normally I don't give Wally World a whole bunch of shout out, but today I'm going to give Wally World a shout out. I think they've done something pretty doggone good. It's going to help a lot of folks out who have... Uh, culinary passions so uh, these could be good stocking stuffers so let's get on with the show they had a whole bunch of one dollar samplers so I'm going to show you a few of them and it's going to be going out to uh, one of my subscribers not just one but all of them all right so there we go we got a Louisiana hot sauce gee money don't do hot sauce but some other people do. I'm just gonna randomly grab in here, no particular order. Oh, look at this. This is called Frank's Red Hot Squeeze Creamy Buffalo. That's right, creamy buffalo. That sounds disgusting, doesn't it? A creamy buffalo? I don't even wanna go down that road. All right, so that's two two out of, I believe, ten. I did drop the bag, so hopefully I still got all ten. Oops. I'll tell you about this little piece of paper here in a minute. How I put it to the man. G-Money style. All right, never heard of this one before, but it sure does uh, sound good. Something I, I definitely could indulge in. It's called Blues Hog Smoky Mountain Barbecue Sauce. That's it right there. All these little fine little items, whoop, just dropped it on the ground. That's all right, my little squirrel friend, Andy Farmer. He'll come over and put that on some of his peanuts. Oh, what's the next one we have? Oh, just happens to be another blues hog, but this one happens to be raspberry chipotle. So that's four out of 10. And right here, oh, this reminds me of a good subscriber friend. She's always on all my videos. So if you're out there, Melinda Dobson, pipe up. We want to hear from you. It's called Melinda's Sriracha Hot Chili Sauce. There you go, Melinda Dobson. You got a sauce out there named after you. Now this stuff I know straight up is good stuff. We sell a lot of this in our store where I work, and uh, I wish they had more flavors. A half of the display was sold out. I would have bought more. I probably would have bought 15 or 20 different varieties, but this one's really good. Kinder's Barbecue Sauce. It is the Hickory Brown Sugar. That sells really good in the store. I can attest to that. I do want to try that, so I, I really like this concept that you could do like a stocking stuffer or you know whatever but uh, if you have somebody who's a chef or aspiring chef or thinks he's a chef like Dan Droding veteran you know he's always flaunting his money I might send something like this out his way maybe anyway we got another Kinder's product here it's called Kinder's wing sauce and dip it's buttery buffalo Kinders for the win. Something tells me I, I may be missing a bottle here. Here's one I've never heard of before. It's a hot sauce. It's called Tabanero Sweet and Spicy Hot Sauce. I don't do the hot stuff, but other people do. So it's not for me. Oh. We got lucky. We do have two more bottles, so we do have full full count, as promised. Melinda Dobson, here's another one for you. 
it says some weird thing. It says Melinda, Melinda's ghost pepper hot sauce, but it says something really weird above it, but I can't pronounce. Sounds like Egyptian or something. All right, so now we're going to get. Oh, got another Kinders. Cannot go wrong with Kinders. And I know from retail experience, this stuff's really good. And I, I can't wait to try this on an upcoming camping trip. Kinders teriyaki sauce and glaze. It says teriyaki with sesame and ginger. There you go. So those are the 10 products. Each one of these were $1 a piece. So as a cheap stocking stuffer, I suggest you uh, fight the traffic lines up there at Wally World. Either go early in the morning or late at night. And uh, let me tell you how I put it to the man. I recently paid off my van and uh, I deliberately overpaid them by 79 cents because they gave me such a hard time for the last five years while I was going through my struggles so that I said well I'm going to put them to work make them uh, exhaust a little bit of labor sending me a 79 cent rebate check that's right I just put it to the man so hope you enjoyed this culinary classic brought to you by Jailbait Tackle Outdoors we're here at Riverside trying to enjoy some life hope you do too tell me what you think